Hey, Dave from Pioneer Truck Service, and today I'm in Smithtown at Panico's Community Market to meet with my friend Donato and discuss some of the amazing things that they're doing for the veterans this year around Thanksgiving and also throughout the whole course of the year. So, hey Donato, how's it going today, man? How you doing? Oh man, amazing. I heard we have some special guests today too. Oh, we do, baby. All right, we come do. on, let's go inside and let's have some fun. Sitting here watching, setting this whole thing up. I'm just listening to the interaction with the people coming in here now. It's just so cool to see the local merchant still dealing with the local people, not going to the big box store and everything, you know, and, and having that interaction and knowing your people and knowing the way they like their meat sliced and, and what they like and everything like that. And, you know, but um, walk us back through how you got started out here in, in the community market. My dad was leasing a, a business and, uh, in Hopog there for uh, in, in the 80s. And the landlord said to him, you have uh, two months and you need to get out. My father said, what are we gonna do? This was a butcher shop from 1948 to 1984. It was Charlie Marcus's. He was an old German butcher. So we came in here, we approached Charlie. We purchased it from him. Okay, so, great. We've been in this neighborhood since 1980 and in this, in this store since 1984. And not even just the local butcher, but really almost like a community meeting center. No doubt. No doubt. We hold court here. here. We, we do we hold, hold court. We, don't hold we court talk here. about all the issues going on in the day and uh, the rights and wrongs of the neighborhood and who needs help and who needs, you know, we well, all that, come together. That is something that I have seen from the beginning of dealing with you that you've always looked out for the people in the neighborhood. No doubt. Then later on, you know, we had the terrible incident of 9-11 happen. Your involvement at that time, just absolutely blew my mind. And right? So on the anniversary of the 9-11, we started making heroes for all the guys, you know, so, so they, weren't, they weren't pushed aside and forgotten. We, we wanted to make sure the cops felt like uh, they were appreciated, like just like they were on the, or the days after September 11. They, they were applauded every time they walked out. Now they got people throwing stuff at them, and that really upsets me. So I said, we're going to start a program called Heroes for Our Heroes, and every 9-11 we would make heroes for these guys. It started out as 100, then it went to two. This year on the 20th anniversary, we made 2,300 three-foot heroes. We grilled all the chicken cutlets and we, we got it done. But with an army of great people from the neighborhood and, and beyond, our reach is, is ever growing. And, um, and that's, how, that's how we feel about our cops and firemen. There are also many veterans that are shut in in their homes. There are many veterans that don't have the ability to go to the store, don't have the ability to cook for themselves, and they suffer, okay? Luckily, in our community, we have you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, and I've been here and I've seen firsthand how many meals you make. So this isn't just about Thanksgiving and Christmas. No, we, These people need to eat every day. That's right. We recently teamed up with uh, Cooking for Long Island Vets uh, and uh, we'll, we'll make some of the food as well as other merchants. Everybody's really been stepping up the past couple of years, especially with COVID happening. They have an army of people delivering it and it's, it is absolutely amazing when I see them, it just, it just seems like it, it grew, the army grew. So Cooking for Long Island Veterans, it's a 501c3. I started it in 2020 and it's blossomed, I'm very proud. Unfortunately, we have a real need for it. If we didn't have a need for it, it wouldn't be such a popular charity. We have a lot of veterans on Long Island. Suffolk County is the number one population for veterans in the country. That's so we have That's veterans. Nice. Nice. Uh, these are not veterans that are look, that we're giving a handout to. I want to be sure that everyone notices that. Uh, what happens is the veterans, um, they their social worker recommends them to us, or a family member recommends them to us because they are unable to get to the store, or if they're able to order groceries in or get groceries from a neighbor, they're unable to stand or to see in order to cook their own meals. Some of them are living in Section Eight housing. Uh, one of our veterans is living in a garage and all he has is a microwave. So we're trying to make it a little bit easier for them to enjoy a nice home cooked meal. When I think about every day having whatever I want to eat, um, um, you know, appalled that many of these veterans are eating canned soup and they might not even have the wherewithal to heat it properly. So we're really, really happy that 
It's been such a popular charity for people to come and help support. So today, Donato invited me in to talk to you guys and tell you a little bit about my charity. He is on the board of Cooking for Long Island Veterans. And today, he contacted me, say, three weeks ago, and we're coming to fruition to what his offer was. His offer was, call all of your veterans, find out who needs a turkey dinner, dinner from soup to nuts, and we will get it to you, and then I will get it to my volunteers and my volunteers will hand deliver it either Wednesday night or Thursday and stay and eat with the veteran if they'd like that's, it or just have a little visit. That is the cool. To yeah, me, that's that special. really, really makes it special because to sit and eat by yourself is, is, you know. We all have to give back. We all have to make sure that we care about not just people in the community that are, that are, that are out there looking for help, but our veterans, again, what, what all they have done for us to keep us from harm's way. So, me, with my staff, we were like, what can we do for the holiday season? What can we do to help get meals for our you know, the families? And the best was when I staff, between uh, Corinne Murphy and Debbie uh, she they went, they made the phone calls to get, you know, right now it's very difficult trying to get turkeys. Yes, we understand what's happening with this economy and what's happening with everything, what's going on with our world, that, you know, there was getting turkeys wasn't something easy. And they went out of the way to get the turkeys. And I said, you know what? Let's go to bring them to Donato's Community Market for our heroes, for our heroes. So this way we have some meals for our people. So you know what? It just makes me happy that, in other words, that we care. And it wasn't like, oh, we just need to do this because we're going to be going for an election. No, we care. My office cares about people that are in need. And we want to help. So I am so proud of my staff for going out of their way to go find turkeys and i'm telling you it was not an easy task so this is absolutely amazing so why don't we head into the kitchen show us we got nikki making mashed potatoes we got turkeys that are cooking in the oven and and these meals are starting to be prepared for the veterans but if you don't mind maybe we can make a little sandwich for me while we're in I look at Thanksgiving as probably one of the most important holidays because forget presents. This is something that's meals that we're all sitting there and we care about our families, but mainly we care about our veterans. Thank you so, so much. And remember that Donato does not just do this for, for cooking for Long Island veterans or heroes for heroes once a year. This is, we do this yeah, 12 do this, months uh, out of the year. Yes. Yeah, we, we all team together and we're just a, part, a little small portion of the solution. Um, and just remember that, like I said all the time, when the times are good, everybody forgets about the veterans. And when times are bad, the belt gets tightened and they're the first ones that they're trying to cut back on. So now more than ever, we need we need support. We need new people to get involved and and, uh, and help carry some of the weight. You make a great Italian hero. <laughs> no, I mean- Wait, you, you're a guy No, 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 no. <laughs> you're misunderstanding. You make a great Italian hero. Oh, the hero, you are hero. My, hero. Yeah. My, father's, my father's my Italian hero. <laughs> yes, right, Richie. Right. That's right. Richie. So I just want to say thank you so much from yeah. the bottom of my heart. And everybody out there, have a happy Thanksgiving, happy and safe. And you know what? And you know what? We care about you. God bless you. God bless your families. But you know what? God bless the United States of America. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you.